what are the symptoms of pneumonia? Well, actually, they're very straightforward. You have the systemic symptoms that you get with infection, fever, feeling unwell. Occasionally, you get the shakes, the rigors, and you're not eating, and you feel terrible, and you want to go to bed. Then there are the focal symptoms you get because it's a lung infection, and that will be cough, producing of purulent sputum sometimes. Sometimes you get blood in that as well. And the mixture of purulent sputum with blood becomes what we call rusty sputum, a sort of brownie color sputum. You may get pleuritic chest pain if the pneumonia is causing overlying pleuritic inflammation. That's called pleurisy. And because the pneumonia consolidation is affecting the ability of gas exchange in your lung, then you might be breathless as well. When you look at the patient and examine them, again, you have the general examination findings of somebody with a, a, an acute infection, pyrexia, they don't look very well, they may have a tachy, well, they should have a tachycardia, and they have an increased respiratory rate because of the, the problem with the consolidation. There are a few other issues. They may have herpes leb labialis, so herpes simplex infection of the, around the mouth actually often reactivates during people with pneumonia. And if they have significant hypoxia, then they'll have central cyanosis. And pneumonia is a, com a relatively common cause of acute septic shock, so they might have hypertension as well. And occasionally, patients have atrial fibrillation because acute lung infections are one cause of, of temporary atrial fibrillation. So that's the general examination. When you listen to the lung, we've already mentioned the signs, which essentially is focal asymmetrical cra crackles, crepitations over the areas of consolidation. If it's really dense consolidation, it would be dull to percussion and there would be bronchial breathing as well. And about a third of patients with pneumonia will have a small effusion and some of those will have a pleural rub. So if somebody presents with pleuritic chest pain because of the pneumonia, the pleurisy, it's quite likely that there will be a pleural rub over the area where they feel the pain. Now, if you're trying to work out whether somebody has a pneumonia, or an acute tracheobronchitis, and this is a very important distinguishing, distinguishing situation because tracheobronchitis is a relatively benign disease and will settle, whereas pneumonia does have the potential chance of becoming a very severe disease. Then there are a few of these things, which, these signs, which are important. So, for example, you will not get crackles if somebody has a tracheobronchitis. And so the focal lung signs that you get in pneumonia are not present if somebody has a bronchitis. In the general examination, if you have an acute tracheobronchitis, it doesn't cause impairment of respiratory function to a significant degree unless you have an underlying lung disease. And so in the normal patient, there shouldn't be an increased respiratory rate. They should not get cyanosis. And it should never get severe enough to cause hypertension or a particularly high pulse rate. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.